In this video, I'll be covering some of the fundamentals behind curve modeling. So I'm going to start with placing some points in Rhino and we'll be essentially working in 2D to understand the idea behind the curves. So the first thing I'm going to do is if we want to draw a curve through these points, we can actually do that using the polyline command. So if I click on the polyline, select these inputs, I can actually get uh, straight lines going through these points. Now, if we want to do that with the control point curve and input the same information, you can see that although the input is exactly the same, the curve actually topologically looks a lot different. So its shape is actually distorted by how we interpolate through these points. So the difference between these two curves is actually really simple. If you want to see more information about these, you can select either one of them and type in the rebuild command. So when I type in rebuild, you can see in parentheses the existing information of this curve. So right now this has five control points and it's a first degree curve because it's uh, connecting the points in linear fashion. Now if I select the other one and type up rebuild again, you can see that the point count is exactly the same, but the degree is uh, a third degree because we are actually using a quadratic function to interpolate through these points. So I'm not going to go into the mathematical details of that, but just know that the difference between these two curves is actually the degree. So this one does linear interpolation. This one does an interpolation using a quadratic function. Now, what, what do you think happens when I switch this to number two? So what does it mean if a curve has a second degree? So I'm going to take the polyline on the left and then I'm going to rebuild that with the same point count, uh, but to a second degree. So you will see that the input is used to construct these arches. So essentially what we are looking at is how the data uh, moves from linear fashion to a plane to three dimensions. So in, in the polyline, the data is actually linearly interpolated between these points. In the second degree curve, this is actually constructed out of arches. So if I explode this curve, you can see that it's made out of three arch segments. And this actually shows you the main property of uh, this curve. It's actually made out of arches that have consistent curvature. So from this point, the, the starting point to, to, to the end of this arch, the radius of this arch is exactly the same. So that means the curvature is exactly the same. So by adding three different arches, we can con reconstruct this curve. And in the last one is a third degree curve, which means in this case, we are looking at a three-dimensional interpolation, so we are using a quadratic function. So that is essentially the difference between uh, the these curves. So if I were to draw a straight line again, that will be a one-dimensional curve. If I draw an arc, let's say in this case something like this, this is a second degree curve because the arches are uh, constrained to a plane, they exist on a plane. And anything that has at least three or four control vertices, that will be a NURBS curve. And learning how to manipulate these control points is really important. And essentially we'll be looking at how to control this shape more efficiently in later videos.